for a day. I don't know what they feeling. I don't know what they thinking. Bro, my soul's invisible like Mario when he blanking. What's good, YouTube? How y'all doing, man? Welcome to episode two of Unfiltered Thoughts, you know. I really hope this dog barking is not messing up the audio, but I'm going to use it anyways because this is the second take and I'm not filming another take. <laughs> um, you know, my last uh, episode, I guess we're going to call it their episodes, uh, I was a lot more uh, serious. There was like a, a darker undertone, I guess you could say, but still hopeful. And I would say like, you know, I, w I was feeling sad. I was feeling like, you know, I was letting life beat me up a little bit. And now I'm not. Life sometimes sucks, but that's just a part of life. And me being Christian, I'm supposed to die daily. Every day I'm dying. So when you really think about it in, in, a, in a like serious sense, it's like, it's supposed to be uncomfortable and it's supposed to hurt because I'm dying to myself every day. Dying is not comfortable and it's not gonna feel good, but it's gonna be beneficial in the long run. And that's kind of what I've been learning, like go through the uncomfortable moments, go through what I don't like because there's gonna be a purpose for it in the end. But if I just give up and throw in the towel, lift up my hands and you know, what's the point? You know, I'm, I, I'm going to miss out. I don't know what good thing could come of me just not stopping, right? Keep walking, even though some days I don't want to walk, some days I do. But if I keep going, who knows what's going to come of it versus me sitting, moping, pouting, you know, whining, waiting for somebody to come save me. Like, no, bro, get up off of your butt. Life is hard. Suck it up. Keep moving. You know, stop being a crybaby. <laughs> Those are the kind of the thoughts I tell myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, I don't know. Life is cool still. Like, I don't, I don't know. I stopped stressing about what I can't control and focusing on what I can't control, what I can't change. Like, really, the only thing that I can focus on, at least fixing and or, or making better and not even fixing because I don't think I can fully fix myself like I think looking to Jesus and building my connection with him is what's going to change me not me like obsessing over myself in a sense and I just been really working on getting my discipline back and not being weak like I got so weak y'all like and I guess when I say weak, I don't mean like weak in like muscular, physical strength. I mean like weak in my willpower and my discipline and in just how I view things. Like everyone is so soft, <laughs> myself included, right? I got so soft, like, man, life is beating me up and I'm just gonna pout and whine and be sad. Like, bro, who cares? Like, stop waiting for somebody to approve you getting up on your feet, like get up do something about it you know sitting and moping or, or feeling sorry for yourself does nothing it literally does nothing but waste time it wastes time and you know I'm, I'm tired of wasting time and I'm just gonna make the most of the time that I have right now and do what's in front of me bro like it's, it's simple it, it's not really that complicated when you think about it but we just focus and obsess on so much negative in our mind that we become negative everything is like oh what if this happens what if that happens what if they like forget about all of that and just do it you know I'm, I'm like not waiting for someone's approval or someone to validate what I'm doing I'm just gonna do it I'm not even talking about my plans anymore like I don't need to tell everybody what I have planned or what I'm trying to accomplish so that I can get some acceptance from them. Like, forget that. I'm just going to do it. You can watch as I do it, you know? And not not in a bad sense, but I'm just saying, like, I've waited for people to approve or, or waiting for someone's approval on, on so many different things. And it's like, nah. I set up a vision, right? I have a plan. Um... I'll probably do another episode talking about, like, my goals for this year. But I set goals for this year. 
and I have a, a whiteboard on my wall in my room and it has each each little steps I'm gonna take towards that goal and it reminds me every day I wake up I'm looking like what are you doing I look at that whiteboard I need to do this I need to do that and I need to do that and it's gonna keep me focused and grounded because I'm looking towards that and that's what I'm focused on I'm not gonna spend no more time just trying to worry about what if this happens what if that happens what if no you know I I'm just doing just doing you know like what's what you call it said just do it <laughs> Shia LaBeouf <laughs> um, I'm just gonna do it and we'll see what comes of it I don't know I don't really have a expectation of anything that I'm, I'm working on but there are things that I'm passionate about and I'm just gonna enjoy the ride, enjoy the journey, you know, the journey of life as I learn and grow. Like I've learned so much in comparison to who I was two years ago to even now and it's beautiful. But y'all just do things. Stop sitting in the uh, the waiting room of I don't know or what ifs. Get out of the what if mindset. Like who cares what's gonna happen? Just act. Stop thinking so much, you know. I feel like now, especially with social media, everyone just overcomplicates and is just thinking so hard about every action. And you think about it so much that you end up doing nothing. You know, you just wasted your time sitting there thinking. Thinking does nothing. Start writing things down, setting a plan, walking towards that plan. You know, that's that's what I'm on this year. And it's good, man. Like, life is good. You know why? Because it's your perspective. I say this a lot. It's your perspective. Like, what are you focused on? It really matters. What are you focused on? Are you focused on the negative things, the things that you don't like, that you want to change? Or are you focused on what you have and and what you should be grateful for? Like, having a grateful mindset changes everything because you're going to smile through everything, bro. I'm... Uh, big smiles and I'm sure there's people like how is this guy smiling how is he uplifted like because I'm not focused on all the BS garbage junk like no I'm just gonna focus on like the things that the simple things the little things being grateful in the little things you know thanking God that I have a house that I that I can drive that I have people that love me, that I can come outside, sit in this grass, feel the sunshine on me, fresh air, you know, see these little birds flying, look at this, uh, I wouldn't call it a mountain, you know, this rock right here, and, and it's just a beautiful view, and I can chill, and I'm thankful for that, you know, that it changes everything when you're just consistently thankful. But y'all, that has been episode two of the Unfiltered Thoughts. Um, and again, these are just my thoughts. These aren't like, this is not the spiritual doctrine or like any, this is literally my thoughts and this is what I've been thinking and contemplating. I don't know if my, if it's going to help someone. I hope it does or maybe it just triggers you to think about something in a different way because I know I talked about not uh, being in the what if mindset but I, that's that's what i mean when i'm saying like overthinking like stop thinking what if this happens what if that happens bro just do stuff just do it like stop just do it like you'll be okay it might seem scary to step out and do something that you've never done before but you'll be okay you know the first step is the hardest step take the first one and then just keep walking and then you're gonna walk and then eventually you're gonna be running and after that you're gonna be like wow all this happened dang i'm glad i took that first step you know so just do that y'all i love y'all i'll catch you on the next video peace Said that you don't got the victory. Yeah, yeah. All my life they always looked at me like I was perfect. 